welcome back to my channel. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel for more videos. And for this video, we will discuss about topic 3.5 where we will talk about unsaturation tests. It's a very simple subtopic because we will only discuss two things which is your Bayer test and also bromine test. What is actually Bayer test and what is actually bromine test? And why are we doing this test? So we'll look into that. Let's start with what should you actually know about a chemical test? There are five things that you need to know. The first one is the name of the test. Make sure you can spell the name correctly. Second, why are we doing the test? The function of the test. You must know the function of the test so that you know when will you use the test. Okay. Next, you need to know what is the recipe. So what is the reagent? and condition for the test that you choose. Next, you need to know what are the observations that you are looking for, what are the observations for positive results and for negative results. Last but not least, you need to have the chemical equation written down. So these are the five things that you need to know for every chemical test that you are going to learn. Okay, so let's start with the first one, Bayer test. So, what is actually the function of this Bayer test? The function of the test is to differentiate the unsaturated hydrocarbon alkene from the saturated hydrocarbon alkene. So, the main purpose of the Bayer test is to differentiate your carbon-carbon double bond and also your carbon-carbon single bond. Alright? So, when will you choose Bayer test? When you have two test tubes, when one is your alkene, another one is your Alkene, that is the time that you choose your Bayer test. Alright, so what would be the reagent and condition? For Bayer test, the reagent and condition is KMNO4, OH- alkaline, your OH- and in the condition cold. So you must have your alkaline KMNO4 in a cold condition. So that is the reagent and condition for Bayer test. The positive observation is the purple color of KMNO4 will decolorize and brown precipitate will be formed. So where is the purple color come from? The purple color is coming from the KMNO4 and the KMNO4 will decolorize or you can write turn colorless. And also you will form brown precipitate. Next thing and the last thing is the chemical equation of Bayer test. The chemical equation of Bayer test will be focused on the carbon-carbon double bond because this positive observation that I have above is only for carbon-carbon double bond. Carbon-carbon single bond will have no changes. Therefore, your chemical equation for carbon-carbon double bond when you have the presence of KMNO4 in OH- at the temperature cold, the changes will be your carbon double bond becomes single bond with the addition of OH-OH. That are your changes. And also, you will have your MnO2, and this MnO2 is actually your brown precipitate. Okay? And that is your chemical equation for your Bayer test. So remember, there are five things. You need to know the name of the test, the function of the test, the reagent and condition, the observation, and also the chemical equation. Make sure you know all the five things for every test. And the most important question will be, how do you answer chemical tests in the exam? Okay, simple. You must have a table. Table is the easiest way to use. And you need to have all the five things. The first one, you need to have the test name. Let's say I'm choosing Bayer. So the test that you write is Bayer test. All right. So what would be the reagent and condition of Bayer? So you know that the reagent and condition of Bayer is KMNO4. OH- and also CO. The next thing that you need to have is the compound. So what are you having? You're having your carbon-carbon double bond. You're having your carbon single bond. Because the function of your Bayer test is to differentiate your carbon-carbon double bond from the carbon-carbon single bond. Next, you need to have the observation. What would be the observation of your C double bond in Bayer test? What will happen to your C single bond in the Bayer test? Alright, last but not least, your chemical equation. 
for your carbon carbon double bond in Bayer test and your carbon carbon single bond in your Bayer test. And that are the five things that you need to have in your table. Starting from the name all the way down to your chemical equation. Simple. Don't worry, let's look at the example. So for example, in the exam, the question asks you to suggest a chemical test to differentiate butane, carbon-carbon single bond, and butene. Knowing that your butane is a four-carbon straight chain with all single bond carbon and single bond hydrogen, while your butene is a four-carbon having a double bond on the first carbon, as given. So that is your butane and butene. When the question says suggest a chemical test, simple, table. That is the first thing. Next, what would be the test name? The test name will be Bayer test. So let's say I choose Bayer test right now. After you choose the test, next we move on to your reagent and condition. What do you use in your Bayer test? We will be using KMNO4, OH minus coal. That is your reagent and condition in your Bayer test. Next, the compound. What compound are we having? We are having butane and butene. So put down butane and butene. And of course, other than using the name, you can even write the structure. You can either write the structure in the form of condense or even expand. It's fine as long as you label who is your compound. You must label which column is which compound. That's it. So we have your compound butane and we have your compound butene. All right, that is your carbon-carbon single bond. That is your carbon-carbon double bond. Next, you need to look at the observation. So what would be the observation in carbon-carbon single bond when you do it under the Bayer? The purple color of KMNO4 will remain unchanged. There will be no reaction because in your Bayer test KMNO4, can only react to the double bond in your alkene. So when there is no double bond, the purple color will remain unchanged. Therefore, the observation of Bayer test in butene will be purple color of KMNO4, decolorized and brown precipitate form. Simple, easy. Last but not least, your chemical equation. Since there is no changes happen to your carbon-carbon single bond, your butane, purple color of KMNO4 remain unchanged. Therefore, your chemical equation will be no reaction. Okay, make sure your chemical reaction is in a complete equation. You have your butane, undergo Bayer test KMNO4, OH minus coal, and there is no reaction. How about your butene? Your butene having the presence of carbon-carbon double bond, with the reagent and condition of Bayer test, the carbon-carbon double bond will become single bond and produce diol, where you have your OHOH OH added into the carbon that holding double bond. So you have your product over here. And you have the brown precipitate that you produce is your MnO2. That is your brown precipitate. Can you see the arrow at the side? The arrow over here, the arrow downward on the MnO2 actually represent is a precipitate. All right, that is actually represent is a precipitate. So you can put down the arrow downward to show that your MnO2 is a precipitate. Okay, simple, easy. So this is the table that will be used to answer your exam. All right, next, let's look at bromine test. What is bromine test about? The function of the bromine test is actually the same as the function of your Bayer test. It's also used to differentiate the unsaturated alkene from the saturated alkane. So you can also use bromine test to differentiate carbon-carbon double bond and also carbon-carbon single bond. So bromine test and Bayer test, they are similar in the term of function. They have the same function basically. Next, what would be the reagent and condition? The reagent and condition for bromine test must be Br2 in the inert solvent, Br2 in CH2Cl2, and the condition must be induct. Guys, 
must be in dark so that you can differentiate the carbon carbon single bond and carbon carbon double bond because if you're having uv your carbon carbon single bond alkene can also undergo free radical substitution so we cannot do bromine test under uv you must do your bromine test in the dark to differentiate the alkene and alkene next what will be the observation the positive observation will drop on the carbon carbon double bond so the observation will be the reddish brown color of bromine will turn colorless just want to remind you this observation is for carbon carbon double bond is positive for the carbon carbon double bond last but not least look at the chemical equation what would be the chemical equation the changes again happen to your carbon carbon double bond where you are added in br2 under inert solvent must be in the dark guys must be in the dark and then your double bond will become single bond and you will have new friend added which is your br br okay and that is the chemical equation of bromine test just want to remind you again your bromine test must be doing it in a br2 in inert solvent and also the condition must be in the dark so that you will have different observations for your carbon carbon double bond and your carbon carbon single bond simple easy and we have another example over here propose a chemical test to differentiate cyclopentane and cyclopentene so we have a carbon carbon single bond and also a carbon carbon double bond and you need to differentiate that what do you do table and the table always start with the test that you choose to differentiate that and the test that i choose today is your bromine test when i choose bromine test the reagent and condition must be according to the test that you choose so the bromine test will be br2 in inert solvent must be in the dark okay must be in the dark and the compound that you have is your cyclopentane and also your cyclopentene or you can draw them out that is my cyclopentane that is my cyclopentene you can have your structure down or you can have your name down same just make sure you know who is a single bond who is the double bond all right next your observation over here bromine is a reddish brown so for single bond alkene the reddish brown of bromine will remain unchanged there will be no changes because you don't have uv okay you must have the presence of uv next even though it's in the dark because we have the presence of double bond in your cyclopentene your reddish brown color of bromine will turn colorless and you can see that in your chemical equation the chemical equation for cyclopentane is no reaction just want to remind you again and again your cyclopentane is reacting with br2 in inert solvent the condition must be in the dark okay and the cyclopentane equation will be the double bond will break to become single bond and br br is added into the carbon that holding double bond just now okay so this is the way that we answer chemical tests all right propose a chemical test and so on just want to remind you whenever the question asks for chemical tests we are actually asking for everything in the table so don't just give the name of the test whenever the question asking for chemical tests we are always asking for the test name the reagent condition what are the compounds that we are having in the question what would be the observation and the chemical equation for the chemical test that you choose so always remember when the question asks for a chemical test this is the full answer of it all right so as a conclusion what should you know simple for every chemical test that you will come across in your life you should know five things the name of the test the function of the test what would be the reagent condition what would be the observation and what would be the chemical equation 
This is everything that you need to know for a chemical test. And that's it for today's video. Simple, easy subtopic. If you have any question regarding chemical tests, drop it in the comment below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.